Lithuania, Juventus Utena. Well, good evening. In this inaugural season of the new Basketball Champions League, it is fitting indeed that the cradle of civilization, the ancient city of Athens, should hold the fate of tonight's two teams on this historic occasion. Just one point separated the two teams in the first leg of this two-game series played two weeks ago. So the task this evening is clear for both sides. Just win. With 40 minutes to separate the teams, who will secure the laurel wreath of victory in the city of the Violet Crown? Who will advance to the round of 16 in the Basketball Champions League? Who will earn the right to play Monaco in the next round? Well, you can see the slate of games we have on offer this evening in the second leg of all of these series. And for us, we are here in Athens as Ike Athens Basketball Club will play host to the Utenis Club from Lithuania. My name is Liam Canny, and it is my distinct privilege to be with you this evening as ever. This inaugural season of the Basketball Champions League, it is indeed a new horizon on the continent of European basketball. You see the players going through their warm-ups here in the Olympic Indoor Arena. And the lineup from the visitors from Lithuania, Jamar Diggs, number zero, was instrumental in the game in the first leg on the 8th of February. He had 18 points in what proved to be a losing effort for Juventus. They lost 78-77, just that one point then separating tonight's two teams. And so it really is just a matter of winning. Teams don't have to worry about uh, the deficit they face or the advantage they hold because uh, one point tonight sends it to overtime, two points will send the winner on to the next round. Here's an Ike Athens lineup, which is uh, which is talented indeed. Right at the top of the list, Roko Ukic, the Croatian international, a veteran of international play, and he'll play an instrumental role in trying to secure the victory for Ike tonight in that first leg. Ike were led in scoring by Dusan Sokoda with 15 points, and Michael Dixon, the American joint top, scored also with 15 points for Ike. The Ike team has a couple of new arrivals, one of them American Donnie McGraw, who will play in the backcourt, and then the Nigerian-American player, Chinemelu Ilonu, also a new arrival to the club. We'll see how much influence he'll have on tonight's game. Well, you can see the players just going through a last couple of seconds of warm-up. We're in the Olympic Indoor Arena, which is also the home to Panathinaikos. They love their basketball in this part of the world. So this arena, the venue for a couple of different clubs. Tonight, Ike will be the host team. And now the PA announcer brings the players out onto the floor. Juventus Utena, the first team to step out onto the hardwood. They have an eight and seven winning record in the competition thus far. They finished fourth in Group D, which got them to this, the first round of the playoffs. So remember, whoever wins this gets into the second round of the playoffs, or the round of 16, and they will square off against Monaco. And now the home side, Ike, who bring a 9-5 record into tonight's game. They finished second in Group E. There is the Croatian international, Roko Ukic, the first one onto the floor, followed by the new arrival, Donnie McGraw, the American who also plays his international basketball for the Republic of Ireland. And the players stepping out onto the floor. This is a, an Ike team with a deep, deep pedigree of basketball tradition. They're eight-time champions in the Greek League. The last time they won it was in 2002. And oh, by the way, that's the last time that any team outside of Panathinaikos and Olympiakos won the Greek League, such is the control that those two clubs have over Greek basketball. Mike also won the Greek Cup on three occasions. As for Juventus Utena, the 2015 Lithuanian Basketball League bronze medalists. And 
back in 2007. They won the Regional Basketball League Champions, the third tier of basketball. So just 10 years ago, this club was playing in the third tier of basketball in Lithuania, and here they are tonight on this historic occasion. Just one game from advancing to the next round of this inaugural competition. Our combined officiating crew from Croatia, Serbia, and France this evening. And so the referees also put some miles on the clock, spend the night in hotels as they leave their domestic seasons to come to a uh, European destination a venue like this right here in Athens for tonight's tip-off. Just uh, speaking a little bit more about the tradition of Ike as we look at the starting five here for the visitors, Utena. They're led in scoring by Jamar Diggs, who averages 13 points. He'll play the point guard tonight. And then at the small forward, Vitotis Solskis also averages 13 points. And there's the very, very, very experienced coach of Utena, Antonas Sereka. He led his native country of Lithuania to the Eurobasket European Championships title in Sweden back in 2003. It's a real milestone in Lithuanian basketball. They were the European champions and uh, the MVP of that competition, Sadis Jesse Kavicis, who played his basketball right here at Panthinaikos. One of very few players to win the Euroleague crown for three different clubs. And the starters now for Ike. There is uh, Roko Ukic, the point guard. And uh, the experienced veteran at the shooting guard, Kostas Vasilidis. He can really shoot the basketball. And 32 years of age. Still has plenty of years left in his career. And the head coach of Ike Athens, Yuri Jidovs. Just uh, wiping his brow right there. Getting ready for tonight's tip-off. Players always get three minutes. As you can see, uh, Vasiliadis there, the real exponent of the catch and shoot. Loves to hang out around the three-point line. And if you give him space, he can get the shot off and knock down lots of jumpers from outside. Really stretches the floor. Well, these two teams in their domestic leagues so far. Ike off to a Good start. I suppose mid-season they have a 14 and 4 record, which uh, finds them in third position. Panthinaikos and Olympiakos in first and second, respectively. And as for Uftenas Utena, they are in fourth position with a 13 and 10 record. Similarly, the Lithuanian League dominated by Jalgiris and Leotivos Ritas. So uh, hard for a third and fourth club to establish themselves in Lithuania, just as it is here in Greece. You saw fleetingly there, Brad Newley, the new arrival for Ike. This is an Ike team that are rearming themselves, getting ready for the next stage of the competition. And remember, it's just win tonight. Ike with that one point advantage coming into tonight's game, and so really nothing separating the two teams. As, uh, the task is very, very simple. Just win it, and you get yourself a spot in the next round of the competition. Well, fans, remember, you can follow all of the live in-game action on the Basketball Champions League website. It's uh, basketballcl.com. That's all the W's, basketballcl.com. Just click on the live link, and you can track the performance of your team and your players. It'll be Ike in the yellow uniforms and Utena in the road red. So some applause here from the knowledgeable fans in this part of the world who've come to the Waka to support the local club. Vasiliadi is playing the ambassador as he steps out onto the floor. It'll be all business though once this one gets underway. Here we go, second leg in the playoff qualifiers in the Basketball Champions League. The referees in the center circle, the ball's in the air, and we are underway in a very straightforward contest between tonight's two teams. Whoever wins draws Monaco in the next round. Utena in the red. First opportunity to score off the mark. And Ukic 
ultimately gathers the loose ball. Good execution early on for Utena. Get a good look at a layup. Just wouldn't fall. So now, Ike space the floor. Great movement to open up Ukic. Demure is on the shot. He's going to try and go at Diggs now. Deep three on the way by Vasilianis. Got it! Well, I did say that he's a master exponent of the outside jump shot. And first touch for Vasiliadis ends up with a triple. Good start by Ike. Baseline jump shot off the mark. Offensive rebound inside. Retain us another chance to try and put some points on the board. Here's Diggs now on the wing. Got to go to work. Inside out dribble, the little runner drops. And this will prove a difficult proposition now for the Ike perimeter players to try and keep Diggs in front of them. Real strength of American guards that perhaps more than any other nationality, they have an ability to create their own shots. Speaking of shots, that one from Basiliadis is off. The offensive put back up and in. And Ike off to a 5-2 lead. Harry Topolis, Demetrius Harry Topolis with the putback and score. Tain a little bit labored here in their offense. Uh, the curl cut. And the turnover. Pass just a little bit too far in front. First turnover against Butanis. You can see the. Score at the bottom, the aggregate score, so it picked up where we left off after leg one. Just a reminder, leg one. Ike won 78-77. So that aggregate score, the most important at the bottom. And speaking of bottom, Ukic finds the bottom of the net. An accomplished uh, musician, too, is uh, Roko Ukic, a drummer. Making some music there with that shot. Now, Vasiliadis comes up with the steal, the second turnover against Utena. Ukic wants the ball screen, waves it off, slides to the basket, can't convert. Back come the Lithuanians, who promptly turn it over. The third turnover against Utenas. Diggs can't commit the foul to stop transition. Vasiliadis steps into a three, that's off the mark. And now down into the low post. We've got a foul inside. Right now, Utenis find themselves in a tough spot here. Here's Ukic with his three. This is the ball screen to good effect. And uh, Juventus will take a timeout. We'll take a break here in the early minutes of action in the second leg of the playoffs in the Basketball Champions League. of coach uh, Zidovza, who's got to be delighted with the way his team have started. Ike have come out focused, good execution. Their defense has generated three turnovers. And in line possession here, another chance to score to try and extend their lead. It's early on though, so Lithuanian fans don't go anywhere just yet. Ukic wants the ball screen. Keeps his dribble alive, still weaving. Vesaliadis rises, that strikes the rim. Another offensive rebound by Ike. The loose ball ends up in the hands of somebody in the front row. Selenga couldn't gather it in.
Buki just using his body to seal off the ball, the pass broken up. And so now Utenis with a chance to score. Diggs will lay it up and in a transition. No, he'll miss. And Jamar Diggs is going to finish those. Good hustle play by Utena. There's the rebound and the foul from behind. So the foul is on Mavroidis. It's not a nickel and dime foul either. That's a foul to stop the lay in. More we'll credit here to Valdis Basilius. Got the offensive rebound, but missed the free throw. It's Coach Sereka. It's an assistant coach with the Lithuanian national team when they took the bronze medal in the Olympics in Sydney. Second free throw up and good. So Utena and a mini scoring drought with that free throw. Mavroidis couldn't gather up that entry pass at a low post. Tipped out of bounds, so it's sideline ball here for Ike. Lukic calls the play. Lukic pulling the strings for Ike. Milosevic coughs it up. And Utena, they're very scrapped with the basketball on Utena. Somehow they retain possession. And Coach Sonaka just says, calm down, fellas. Diggs a little leaner. Diggs got two minds, didn't know whether to pass it or shoot it. He ended up with an ill-advised shot. Haritopoulos. Moves it on one. That shot too strong by Baranzakis. Just too strong. His shot struck the back of the rim. And we got a foul off the ball. There's Ukic. Just trying to hold on to a cutter. Grabs a jersey and gets caught for it. You see Ukic just trailing around the screen. Just dragged the screen with his left hand. Our top of the steps out. Diggs trying to wriggle free to come back and get it. Does finally. It's labored by Utanis. Very labored. Another turnover. It's their fifth at least to my counting. And the inquest begins. Let's not uh, try to underestimate the intensity of Ike's defense, though. They're really unsettling cutters. Dusan Sakare in for the first time for Ike. Touch pass inside to Ilono. He gets bumped, moves it on. Vasiliadi steps inside the arc. His shot, no good. I think the foul here is on Ilono, but I'm not entirely sure. Well, Ilono with a little bit of play acting. The referees have got to be smarter. It's not a foul there. Ilono bought one. Again, it's easy to see that from the commentary position. Lukic shrugs his shoulders to be replaced by Donnie McGraw. That's the Irish American now, McGraw. Little touch pass to Ilano! Oppa! Ilano with the thunder dunk! Great feed by McGraw. And Ilano does the rest. Diggs, little handoff by Diggs. Easy basket for Utena. Chipokaitis with the score. Right now, Ike have got the opposition doubled up. 10-5, make it 12-5. So Ilana with four quick points. 
Nasiliatis with some pressure up the floor. Generates a turnover. Milano's going over the coach saying, Coach, what do you want me to do? I just got the last four points. What am I doing wrong? Vasiliadis runs through the rain, lane, finds to go down, knocks down the shot. And right now, Utena are on the ropes. They face their first a double digit deficit at 15 5. And they just have to be patient. There's still plenty of time in this. Look at the defense on Diggs. He can't get free. Nice bounce pass. And a hard nose score by Chepukaitis. Able to finish over Ilanu. McGraw lets fly from just inside the arc. Alona with the offensive rebound. Vasiliati steps into a three. That rims out. But the offensive rebounding of Ike, a little mini story here in the opening stanza. The floater off the window, no good. Tana got a good look, just couldn't convert it. Five offensive rebounds. Five of the seven rebounds that Icav are on the offensive end. Ilono. That's his first miss. Donnie McGraw comes up with the sixth offensive rebound for Ike. Michael Dixon trying to deal. Sakuna with a deep, deep three! Count it! Oh, what a magical shot by Sakuna! He was a meter behind the three-point line. He's got back-to-back -back threes and six points coming off the bench. Now, Utena really need to get something good here. Need a good, clean look. That shot too strong. Chepukaitis gets an offensive rebound for the Reds of Utena. Turnover, pass ahead, and Dixon will lay it up and in. The turnover. Proving painful for the Juventus Utena. It's their sixth turnover in the quarter, and we still have two minutes to play. That shot off the mark, too strong from Aaron Best. Soto Tavich just steps out for Utena. Brad Newley, the new arrival from the National Basketball League of Australia. Newley unlucky to be one of the last players cut for the Boomers. The Australian national team as they went to the Olympics in Rio this past summer. McGraw, perfectly measured pass to Ilonu. And the high screen and roll just executed to perfection right now. Ike have got the bit between the teeth. Dixon extending pressure at the floor. Ike really trying to neutralize the influence of Diggs. Remember, Diggs had those 18 points in the game in Lithuania. Dixon fighting through screens. Dix slashes to the basket and scoops and scores. Tana just showing a little bit of zone. Leads to a turnover for them as they change the rhythm of the game. Sakura really should have caught the pass. And that shot won't fall. Selenga with a miss. Chepukai just couldn't come up with the offensive rebound. Tana staying in that 2 3 zone. Dixon trying to break it open with a three, and he does. That's one way to attack a zone as Dixon thumps his chest, pleased with himself. Now, can Utena get the double digits here as we wind down the first quarter? 
Soskis, his shot no good. And McGraw takes a look at the clock. American point guard knows he wants to get the last shot. Calls the horn set. Sakura comes high with Ilonu. McGraw kicks, extra pass. Sakura with a deep, deep three, and that one's off the mark. Well, he's made one already, but he missed that one. And Vasiliati steps off the bench to give his teammates a well-deserved round of applause. They have a commanding lead at the end of the first stanza. There's your score. It's Ike, 25, Juventus Utena, 9 from Athens. Well, here's a look at some numbers which uh, fans of Utena will not want to see. They're over four from behind the arc. Look at Ike with eight assists and the rebounding differential. Ike 12 6. They've doubled the rebounding total of Utena. And there's another thing that Utena fans will not want to see those six turnovers in the opening 10 minutes of play. It's a big ask for Utena. You know, they've traveled the whole north and south divide of Europe. They've come from northern Europe and the Baltic down here to Athens in the Mediterranean and the Aegean Seas. Look at the release by Vasiliatis. It's a quick release. Diggs didn't get many easy looks. Got four points does Diggs. Sepulchitis has four points as well for Juventus Utena. And just a a dream start, really, for Ike. And they right now are in the driver's seat in this game. Ilona with six. Sakura with six. Michael Dixon with five to lead the charge for Ike. Show you some highlights from these first 10 minutes of play. It's been all Ike, that's for sure. But still plenty of time in this one. 30 minutes is an eternity in basketball terms. Utena now. I always think when you face a deficit like this as a coach, you want to try and make it manageable for your team to mentally prepare to dig into the deficit they face. So 16 points, you say to your team, listen, at the end of the third quarter, can we get it down to, to nine, maybe even eight, get it to single digits? Not if you play defense like that, Alana with an easy tip in. Chinimelu, Ilona, one of the new arrivals here for the club. Oh, what a block by Ilonu on Solskis. To be fair, Solskis goes right at the big fella again. Diggs comes up with it. His shot won't fall. Determined work on the back bar, boy. Utenas. And I think it's uh, Sepulchitis who finally got the final tip in. Sepulchitis with the basket. And those are the kind of hustle plays you need when you're chasing a, a deficit. Who's going to get an offensive rebound? Who's going to get a loose ball? Who's going to get a steal? Sock and a shot falls softly off the rim. Diggs in the open court, followed by, followed by Donnie Murat. Watch the pin by Ilonu on Sulskis. And here's McGraw with the foul. Possession's important now for Utena. You have to get some rhythm, some momentum, back-to-back -back scores and back-to-back -back stops to slowly get themselves back in this one. Solskis on the dribble drive. And his shot blocked again as Solskis 
You can see the length and athleticism of Ike. Much more impressive than the Lithuanians. And great call by the baseline referee. Suskis is having a word with Sakata. Lay-in off the mark. This foul here on Chepokaitis is going to step right down to the bench and head off for a break. A little pocket pass by Dixon. There's the bump by Chepokaitis. He'll step out. He's done well. Coming off the bench. Chepokaitis with six points. He's picked up his third personal foul, so that will be the last bit we see from him undoubtedly in this first half. Mavidoides here at the line. Dimitris Mavidoides makes both. So Ukic looks along between the two youngsters. Diggs with the left hand. His shot no good. It's a five on four now for Ike as Diggs is on his backside. Dixon! Oh, what a great block by Solskis! And the pass ahead to Diggs who's cherry picking. He'll lay it up and in. Well, Solskis blocked that shot with his elbow. McGraw, mid-range jumper, Velvet. Donnie McGraw. Real pass first, point guard. Played his collegiate basketball at Providence College. He's from New York originally. Vasilides goes up with a great steal. Oh, behind the back, inside the second. Oh, lays it up and in. Little razzle-dazzle from the Athenians. Sokora profits on the end of it with the easy two. Tough pass inside. Good score. Gildakis with the score. Uses his pivot foot to good effect, but I think are going backwards right now. They trail by 16. It's now the deficit they face now is. 18, could go to 20 if Dixon knocks that down, rims out. It's the floater from Diggs. It's good, right, man? Right now, Diggs is the best offensive weapon for Utena. He has eight points. We got a break in the action here from Athens. Well, here's Diggs, who gets on the end of an easy score. Hadn't quite got back on defense since talk about assist and easy scores. Just a beautiful pass. Sokota does the rest. Champagne basketball there from the Athenians. Arena, massive inside, seats close to 18,000 fans for a basketball games. So, despite the fact that uh, the upper deck doesn't have many seats, there's a good crowd here. Most of the, most of the lower bowl is filled. So, uh, the local Athenians try to support the club known as Ike. Look 
Rock keeps his dribble alive. His pass found the hands of Roka Ukic. Shimmies through the lane. Shot strikes the back of the rim. Quick outlet here to Diggs. Diggs in free flow. And a foul on Donnie McGraw, who's annoyed with himself. You can say McGraw just trying to break up the handout, handoff. Caught committing the foul. Sideline ball here for Utena. They trailed by 16 at the beginning of this half. They still trail by 16. They trail by as many as 18 at one stage. The dock is just lacks mobility as he makes a jump shot to prove me wrong. He was a bit like Frankenstein, but he's able to score there. Pass to the corner. Tough pass. Mavnoidis can't get on the end of it. Here's Diggs. Can he score in transition? He can't. And back come Ike. A little sloppy from both teams there. Foul here, and a wry smile to come with it. Foul will go against Utena. You see the trap. And yeah, just the push, the hand, right hand in the back. No doubt about the call. Valdis Vasilius with the foul. Lono steps back in and he came off the bench with a fervor. Came in in the first quarter. Nigerian American, new arrival to the club. Ukic lets fly. Front rims it. Got his own rebound. Followed his shot as all good shooters do. Just to the depth of the shot clock, the ball strikes the rim. Utena come out of a pack with it. Diggs gets a break on the bench now. This is an important passage for Utena to keep the scoreboard ticking over. Tough pass inside. Kick out. And that shot's no good. Back come Athens. Ukic trying to find a pass. He does. And that's just too easy. If you are Utenis, Sedums is saying it's as easy as that, fellas. Pass the ball, share the ball, move it around. Henry Topolis with the easy two. Lanzakis with the foul. He's trying to chase his shooter off the screen. Sideline ball here for Utena. Tough shot, wouldn't fall. Well, good positive penetration on the right hand dribble. By Bitskowskis. He's earned himself a trip to the line. Good, powerful drive by the 22 year old. Got the contact from Dixon. Had the presence of mind to get the ball up on the rack. Earned himself a trip to the line. Bitskowskis. 
was the defensive player of the year last year. Lithuania's second division and first team all league as well. Good season last year. Sideline ball for Utena. Ten seconds from the shot clock. Wichkowskis moves it on. Just inside the arc. That shot too strong. Sudotavich is with the miss. The foul here goes against uh, Galdokas. A little bit over exuberant on the backboard. You see a lot in that, but. Here's the entry pass to Vasiliadis. So slowly the start is coming back for Ike. The new shot clock, 14 seconds on the kickball. Remember, Utena finished the end of the first quarter with a 16 point deficit, so they've been level here in the second. The turn. A positive play into points now. And back to Mutena now across the midcourt stripe, facing a 15 point deficit. A foul here on Athens. It's on Ilano, there it is. Lano, just make sure the guard doesn't get past him, but uh, just his first, but the team are in the penalty. Just sends a shooter to the line. Free throw up and good. Should look at coach uh, Sedaika. Dovis Pchkowskis knocks down both free throws. Now the difference is 13. Oh, can Utena get a stop here? You see they're back in that 2 3 zone. Dixon rises. His shot, no good. Long rebound. The drive is off the mark. It's the presence of Ilonu who causes the miss. But Johnny on the spot for Utena. Zavaldis Vasilius. Watch this. Here's the drive by Bitskowskis. He's going to go high up the ladder over the outstretched hand of Ilonu. Ilonu not there to block out. So an easy two inside for Juventus Utena. Sadly, we cannot get you in the inside the huddles to see the tactics boards and see what the coaches are working on. It'd be great to do that. But uh, certainly know that coaches may call a timeout any time they like. They have two in the first half, and three in the second. And that doesn't include some of the commercial timeouts you get. Last couple of minutes here in the first half. And you wonder now, uh, Utena starting a little comeback here, a little flurry, just before the halftime intermission. 
switch back to man-to-man -man defense, so they do. Flex offense here, old school from Ike. Vasiliati drops a pass inside. I think Vasiliati's got away with the travel. The foul's on. Chinamelu. Dixon to McGraw. So both guards on the floor for Ike. Dixon, Elio! And thank you very much from Ilonu. It's only a two. Tanner got to keep their composure. Another turnover. It's frustrating if you're the retained coaching staff or the fans back in Lithuania. Would you believe? It's the tenth turnover against Utena. That'd be a great total to have at the end of the game, not the end of the first half. <laughs> Miss shot gathered here by. Utena, trail by 13, chance to get it to 11 now. Good movement, wide open three, got it! Well, good execution by Utena. Sudotavichis knocks down a three. And would you believe now, Utena are within 10 points, another stop in the basket. They're right back in this ball game. Vasiliadis runs off the free throw line. Good help to help her defense by Utena. An even better break. Can they convert? Oh, the miss. So infuriating. A three is on the way. That's no good. Offensive rebound. Stolen by Vasiliadis. Can he bring this half to a close with some points? He misses. Up and down action in the Basketball Champions League. A corner three-pointer. No good. And back come Ike. In a three on one, McGraw lets fly. No good. Oh, what up and down action by both teams. But neither team with the composure and the accuracy needed to close the half with a basket. It was like an ice hockey game for about 90 seconds. And it's an absolute coach's nightmare. Well, here's your score at the end of the first half of basketball Ike Athens 37. Juventus Utena, 27 in the Basketball Champions League. Well, Lithuanian fans just might be gritting their teeth a bit. They trailed by 16 at the end of the first quarter. They nailed trail by 10, which is good, but they had a chance to get it maybe to seven. The corner three-pointer attempt just wouldn't fall for them at the end of the first half. And those 10 turnovers, it's hard to win a game if you turn the ball over too frequently and too generously. Lutani will have to certainly sort that part of their game out. Well, fans, having uh, watched the first 20 minutes of play and having had a look at the analytics, it, uh, it's been entertaining, that's for sure. Not always the highest quality. As we leave you with some highlights from the first half of play. We'll come back and join us in about 10 minutes for continuing coverage of the Basketball Champions League.
Well, good evening and welcome back to the Walk of the Olympic Indoor Hall here in Athens. It's halftime in this playoff qualifier second leg between the hosts, Ike Basketball Club of Athens and the visitors, Yvtenis Utena from Lithuania. It was a uh, half dominated for the most part by the home side. Ike led by as many as 16 at the end of the first quarter. They now lead by 10 at halftime. So all credit to the visitors who came back in the second quarter. Indeed, the difference could have been single digits, but for the fact that uh, Utena couldn't score in their last possession. It's a team, a, a match which has been uh, blighted by mistakes by both sides. More so by Utena, who had 10 turnovers at halftime. So certainly that'll be a point of emphasis in their halftime chat. Here's Jamar Diggs, the leading scorer for the visitors, who has been covered like a blanket defensively by Ike. That is one thing that they've done very well, is try to minimize the influence of Diggs. He has eight points. As for Ike, they're pacing scoring by the Nigerian-American Ilono with 10 points, he's been devastatingly effective. Five for six, just one missed shot. Of course, most of those shots coming from inside. Still plenty of time in this one. Just as a reminder, if you're just joining us, that the first leg between these two teams, one point is the difference. Ike won on the road in Lithuania, 78-77. So uh, this game very much in the balance. The opening tip off and it remains in the balance here at halftime as you look at uh, coach uh, Yuri Zudavza, the Slovenian born coach of the Ike basketball club I mentioned some of the history of the two clubs in my opening comments let me just say welcome back to any fans who are with us in the first half and doing my research and preparation for tonight's game one of the things I really love about this competition is that you get story clubs who get a chance to get back on the European stage. And none perhaps more storied than uh, Ike. They were the first ever Greek team to reach a European Cup final. They advanced to the final four in the EuroLeague in 1966 in Bologna, Italy. They came third. And then two years later in the European Cup Winners' Cup. What a story, listen to this. Ike beat Slavia Prague in the uh, Pan Athenaic Stadium in front of 80,000 fans who were seated. The Pan Athenaic Stadium is an outdoor arena. It's an oblong, oval arena. I've been there personally myself, not far from where we are now. 80,000 fans seated to watch that game. And legend has it that perhaps as many as 40 more thousand fans were in and around the venue on the day. 1968 European Cup Winners' Cup when uh, Ike beat Slavia Prague. And in fact, in the rafters here in the Waka, there is a yellow banner which marks that day. Well, first possession to Utena here in the red uniforms. Diggs moves it on. He's trying to get it back. Shake free from Dixon. Diggs settles for a long three. That's no good. Excellent defense by Dixon. Back come Ike. Ike come out to start with uh, Ukic, who has the ball in his hands right now. Vasiliatis, Sakura with the ball now. Mavroidis and Dixon. Somehow, Dusan Sakura trying to move it on. Slipped and lost his footing, looking for a call. Doesn't get it. And he gets up to have a little word with the referee. No love tonight. And look at Dixon really establishing himself defensively. Dixon's picking up Dix, who's bringing the ball out of bounds. Here's the warrior for Utena. Daniel Selenga, 39 years of age, stepping into the floor. Pichkowskis with the basketball. Dix. A good tactical move to bring Pichkowskis in take over point guard duties. This allows Diggs to try and shake free with some off the ball screens. He lost Dixon, got a basket, did Diggs. Now Dixon steps into a three, got it. A 
defensive breakdown. And that's what happens when you gamble on defense. Utena gambled. Dix, Dixon steps into a wide open three. Pass inside. The reverse layup. No good by Chepukaitis. Lukic calls the play, five down. Lukic has represented this country of Croatia many, many times. There's Dixon from the elbow. His shot strikes the back of the rim. Chepukaitis with the rebound. Good transition defense. Vesiliati slows down the break for Ike. Bichkowskis probably got a foul going around. Dixon gets away with one. This shot by Bichkowskis. Half starting deliberately. Both teams in there. Half court offenses. Ukic lines up at three, front rims it. Diggs can't run away with it to get an easy basket. So the offensive rebound now for Ike. Dixon weaves his way to the rim and scores. A nifty drive by the American. And Dixon with a bright start to the second half. Michael Dixon, he's got 10 points tonight. Dixon had 15 points in the win in Lithuania. Chepukai is trying to score inside. Swallowed up by yellow jerseys. Now Ukic gets a quick outlet, injects some pace into it. Dixon along the baseline. This will bring a timeout if it goes. A timeout for Utena. Coach Sonika seen it up. As I come out explosive here in the second half of this Basketball Champions League playoff qualifier. That tells a story there. Look at the bench points from Ike. It is a talented Ike lineup. You've got uh, Kostas Vasiliades, who's played for Greece. Donnie McGraw, American who's banged around Europe for many years. The national team player for Ireland. Roko Ukic, national team player for Croatia. Mavidoides, Dimitris Mavidoides. He's played for his native Greece as well. Brad Newley, we haven't even seen much of Brad Newley, who has represented Australia. So it is a, a team with plenty of reserves of talent. And now that bench scoring just showing off how many weapons that they have. Good timeout here from Coach Sereka. A measure of a good timeout coming out of an offensive timeout. Can you execute an offense and get a good look? And they do. And that's excellent. Perfect timeout, which leads to the three from the veteran Selenga. Pass inside. Diggs comes up with a steal. Ukic with the transition foul. Smart foul by Ukic to break up the fast break opportunity. And there it is. Tough shot. Solskjaer can't get to the drop. A little floater in the lane. A real opportunity, maybe. Goes begging there for Utena, who had some momentum swimming to swinging to their side. I beg your pardon. Forget about swimming here in the Mediterranean Sea, the Aegean Sea. Such a beautiful area. 
Pass, extra pass to the corner. Vasiliani got it right at the dead of the shot clock. Vasiliani looks to the crowd, and he's got a big grin on his face. That's what he does better than anybody on the Ike team. Finds space on the perimeter and knocks down threes. Diggs gets in the lane, has to kick it out. Selenga's runner. That doesn't get any love from the rim. And an excellent putback by Galdakis. Those are the plays you need. The offensive rebounds, the putbacks, the steals, the hustle plays. When you're on the road, you're chasing a deficit. Remember, our fans, down the bottom, center screen, that's the aggregate score. Interior shot off the mark by Ike. Mavaroides with the miss. Selenga trying to break down his defender. Find space off the screen, his shot short. Well, had a clean look at it, then Selenga just grazed the front of the rim. Mavaroides, lucky to get it back. Here's Ukic in the corner. Ukic gets in the lane, his one-handed shot, no good, got the offensive rebound, second opportunity, won't fall. And finally, Utena, clear their board. Solskis with authoritative rebound. Here's Selenga off a stagger screen. Reverses to Diggs. Diggs, deep three, no good. Just one red jersey to the backboard. Galdakis couldn't gather the offensive rebound. Sakoda in the corner, no good. Now, some fast break basketball here. Diggs on the wing. Oh, wouldn't fall for Diggs. Solskis with the put back and good. And so now the momentum is swung over to the red side as the yellow blocks have to call a timeout. And Utena slowly getting themselves right back in this one. They trail by just 11. There's the extra pass to the corner. And you can see the ball go through the rim just as the shot clock expires. Get you right inside the huddle, and you could hear Coach uh, Yuri Zidovza saying, you know, foul, use your foul as well. As you see the pyrotechnics in the uh, arena here. Always part and parcel of basketball in this part of the world. The plume of smoke goes up into the rafters in the walker here. Thankfully, somebody came over and put out the fire. Well, right now, the Utena Club with some pyrotechnics of their own. Here the those are not gunshots, I assure you. There's some pyrotechnics going off in the arena. Good ball reversal by the Yellow Blacks of Ike. McGraw runs into a foul. You can see defensively, Utena doing the right thing, trying to keep the ball on the sideline, but Solskis Commits the foul. McGraw thought about a deep three. He knows the shot clock is running down. Somebody's got to shoot it. Shot clock is running down. Harry Topolis does. A little bit of offense by accident. Harry Topolis didn't want to shoot that. But looking at that stroke, that's as pure as it gets. Aaron Best steps in for Utena. And 
And Eric Topolos commits a foul on the other end, on the other side of the court. Reaching foul there by Harry Topolis, just trying to break up the handoff. And look, Harry Topolis isn't even thinking about shooting it. And then says, Well, somebody better do it. Good looking shot like that. Why hesitate? Solskis now trying to break down Harry Topolis. Gets deep, and the shot set back with interest by Ilano with his second block. Cinemelo rises and sends it into the first row. Gal Dawkins is shot. Strong off the rim. McGraw finds himself in the short corner. Shot clock running down now for Ike again. Tough shot in the way. No, it's a pass inside to Ilano, who knows what to do with it when he gets into the halo. Oh, Ilano from the halo. That's his office. And just like that, I have reestablished a comfortable 15 point lead. Diggs, foul. Ilano takes responsibility of that foul. He sportingly comes over, does a Nigerian, just to check that Diggs is okay. Nice gesture. Diggs trying to lose McGraw. Does with the screen. Three point attempt, no good. Best can't grab it. Harry Topless can't keep it in bounds for Ike. Solskis runs into the man mountain known as Ilonu. I'm not sure if Ilonu actually blocked that one, but defensively he was quite strong. Maybe. I think Solskis has a case for a foul there. McGraw commits the foul. So tries to stay close to Jamar Diggs. Gets, comes in to replace McGraw. Dixon does a great job defensively on Diggs. Yeah, it's really great defense by Michael Dixon. Nothing easy for Jamar Diggs. There's Dixon on the wing. We'll skip pass. Ball is up in the hands of Ukic. Ladendakis. Did he travel or is he fouled? I think he's fouled. And things are getting a little bit testy here. I think. I think Diggs is feeling a little bit frustrated. I don't think the foul was on Diggs. We'll have to check it. Diggs has to be careful now. He's let his emotions get the better of him. I didn't see, but I think the referee has awarded a technical foul against Diggs. Let's take a look here. I'll have a look at the play-by-play -play just to try and bring you up to date with what's exactly happening here. See if we can look at the ticker here. So the first foul is in the act of shooting. Lionel Zakis. In the act of shooting, we'll get two shots. I think that foul might have been against 
Soto Tavichis. But there are two shots for the foul. And now the technical, because uh, Aaron Zakis did miss his two free shots, so keep him at the line. And this one, because of the technical on Diggs. So two for three from the line for Yanulis Laranzakis. Ukic to Dixon. Dixon's got a little hitch in his shot. His attempt strikes the back of the rim. Diggs, good fast break basketball by Utena. Soto Tavichis with the finish. That's exactly what Utena need, maybe to get them out of this slump. Easy baskets. Now they need to get a stop and a bucket. You can see how Diggs just squares up to Ukic and Ukic moves it on to Dixon. Dixon around the ball screen. Dixon from just above the free throw line. Pure as you like. Michael Dixon, good execution to open up the easy shot. Best lets fly at the end of the quarter, and that won't fall. And so having been up by as many as 10 points, at the end of the halftime, now Ike have extended their lead. They lead by 17 here in Athens. Well, the three-point shooting for Utena is abysmal. Just two for 13. They've only had 13 attempts as well as compared to 22 for Ike. Look at Ike, 15 assists compared to eight. Montana do hold a margin on the backboard. Much better now with the basketball in their hands or the Lithuanians in that quarter. Just one turnover in that quarter, which is promising, but they just can't score. And uh, let's not underestimate the defensive system that uh, Ike are playing because Dixon in particular is keeping Jamar Diggs under wraps. Diggs has 10. And Dixon providing on the offensive end for his team. He has 14, the leading scorer in the building. Alonso has 12. It's a long way back now for Utena. We talked about the mental side of playing from behind. You can't look at a 17-point deficit and say, let's get it back in the first play. And so what you do is say, look, at the midway mark of the fourth quarter, can we get that 17 down to single digits? Get it to nine, get it to eight. And then we'll go out and we'll win it in the last five minutes. It's all well and good in theory, but the players have to come out and put these into practice. And what a great pass there by Lennon Zakis. Knew the shot clock was running down, just threw it up and said to the big guy, hey, Ilonu, finish that off for me. First possession here to Ike. He's trying to extend their lead into the low block. Luno hasn't gotten it in the low post very often. Pass inside and the score. Deep basket cut by Harry Topolis, who acknowledges the pass. Good feed by Luno. Pass got out of sync. Aaron Zaka's shot strikes the rim. Chepelkaitis with the rebound. Kowskis gets it across the midcourt stripe for the visitors. His shot rattles around and out. Ukic calls the play. Everybody getting a little touch here and there. Here's Dixon to the corner. Harry Topolis. And Dixon says to his teammate, hit that. And Harry Topolis does. He's got two threes from that area in the floor. And Ike now running away with it. 
Utena definitely on the ropes now. They have to go possession by possession. The defensive Ike is suffocating. Spencer Parker in the game. Aaron Best in the game. Diggs in the game. The three Americans. Diggs, sorry, is out of the game. So Best and Parker, the two Americans. And speaking of Americans, Dixon with the assist for Harry Topolis. Tough pass by Pitskowskis. Parker spills it. Ilona will try to come up with it. He does. It's a three on two. And McGraw wisely wants to call the play. Ike in no hurry. The clock right now is their ally. Ukic is shot. No good. Alley you pass! Oh, it's the underdunk! Oh, what a great transition basket by Aaron Best, who goes up the ladder to flush! Well, could that little gem spark some life into the challenge here for Mutena? McGraw lost the handle. Now finds himself in a trap. Pass to Ilonu. Shepokaitis with the hard foul. That's a hard foul there by Chepokaitis. But Selenga sends it up to Best. And Best does the rest. Watch this. Selenga sends it to Best. And Best does the rest. It's going your way, it's going your way. Lanu got the shooter's roll on that one. Chinemelu, Ilanu. He's got 14 points on the night. Four rebounds. Let's not forget about the assist as well. The great assist. In the opening possession here. Pichkowskis on the perimeter. His pass inside. Galdakis can't convert. So Galdakis now will toe the line and try to thread these two free throws. First. Seventy percent free throw shooter on the season, so a good shooter from the line. The Dawkins makes one of two. You can see some trapping defense, some press up the floor by. Utena to try to get themselves back in this one. Trail by 21, it's a long way back. And McGrath showing some experience, no hurry. Vasiliadis steps back for the three. Vasiliadis making a rain. Oh, it just takes the wind out of your sails when you press. As a defensive team, you try to shake things up defensively, and you get a three. Turnover. It's numbers here. McGraw wants it. The intelligence of McGraw slows it down. He knows that they need seconds to expire more than points on the board. Good defense by Salenga, the 39-year-old coming to the end of his career. What a great way for him to play out his end of his career here in the Basketball Champions League. Now the bench is starting to get cleared out. The youngsters are coming in. Giorgios Sanpuras steps in, 20-year-old. 
Getting some minutes and a touch. Two meters 16 is the youngster. Dixon. No, it's McGraw. I beg your pardon. Donnie McGraw with the mid range jump shot. And McGraw's got four. Just a steady, complimentary player is McGraw. He'll know some of these Lithuanian players he played at Jalgiris. Reverse jam there by Gildakis. Donnie McGraw had a season with Jalgiris. Sukuna, his shot rattles in and out. Solskis with the rebound. And the Athenians have found their voice now. Selenga fades on the screen. Shot no good. Chepukaitis lays it up and in. Tipped by Geldoskis. And this brings the ire of coach uh, Yuri Zidovsa. He's not happy at all with his team. So at the midway mark of the fourth and final quarter, we'll take a break in the action. The teams will go to their benches with Eichen commanding control of this one. It's the second leg of the playoff qualifiers in the Basketball Champions League. here now for Brad Newley to get some minutes and sort of uh, blend in with the team barring a, uh, a dramatic turn of events here Ike should have played themselves into the next round which means Newley will play even more importance as the level of competition goes up and so now he'll get a couple of minutes to get some game action understand the systems and you can see the coaching staff calling play three McGraw calls it and McGraw avoids the trap, finds the middle of the pressure. Just good headiness by the guard from New York. That's the audience comes to get it. And the 20 year old pulls the trigger on the shot. Why not? Doesn't get much game time. He's trying to get his name in the scorebook. by Newley on the perimeter. Three from the corner, no good. Good rebound and a thunder dunk by Galdoskis. Well, Galdoskis is starting to pad his stats. He's got nine points, four rebounds. Coach Sodeka can start to think about the LKL, the Lithuanian Basketball League. Pass inside, Sakona shot good. A little teardrop drops, comes down wet, tickles the twines. Lutena presently a 13 and 10 league record, fourth position.
And Lonu steps back into the game here for Ike. Ukic is going to step in, get a violation on the free throw, so violation against Utenu in early. Right now, Jelgiris at the top of the standings in the Lithuanian League, the LKL. First position, Liutivos Ritas in third. Utena in fourth, Neptunus in fifth position. About midway through the league. McGraw, let's fly, got it. And Donnie McGraw is going to have reasonable numbers tonight. Hasn't missed many shots, McGraw, hasn't taken many. Chip Bukaitis missed inside. And fouled by Ilonu. McGraw with seven points on three for five shooting. A bank shot by Chepukaitis. Get a look at Coach uh, Sadeka. He coached the Lithuanian team right here in the Olympics, where they beat the United States back in 2004. What a game that was. Shaole, Lithuania originally. Left-handed shot in the baseline. Smooth touch from the 20-year-old Samboris. Two meters 16, showing a smooth touch. Pichkowskis darts in the lane. Kick Sulskis. Pros. His shot, no good. Good defense by Ike. McGraw wants the drag screen. Ukic shifts to the right hand in the lane, doesn't get the call. The referees are perhaps thinking about dinner. And the pass intended for Chepukaitis. Out of bounds. You see some fatigue here in the Utena players. It's the 15th turnover against Utena. They had 10 in the first quarter. McGraw playing a bit of peekaboo. Now it drives down the lane and draws the foul. I'm a real fan of Johnny McGraw. I think he's an intelligent player. Just showing his intelligence here. A little head and shoulders fake. Got him some space down the lane. He's been a journeyman pro from Mount Kisco, New York, originally. Went to John F. Kennedy Catholic High School. Played his collegiate basketball in Providence College in the Big East in the USA. Was with the Obradoiro Club last year in the ACB in Spain. Returned home to Long Island for this season. Long Island Nets played the half the season there and then picked up by Ike just recently. Back in uh, 2013, he helped Jalgiris to win the Lithuanian Championship. So again, he knows many of these players from his playing days in Lithuania. Transition opportunity off the mark. Best comes out of it and goes the distance to lay it up and in. Aaron Best ends a mini drought here for Utena. And would you believe that Donny McGraw also played for this Ike Athens club back in 2009, 2010. So a homecoming for McGraw. Zamporis shot no good. And he made the card a mistake getting the rebound and put it on the floor. Nice bounce pass to Galdukas. 
He had the ball stripped. So fans, remember now, Ike will advance to the next round of the playoffs where they will square off against an AS Monaco club. AS Monaco drew a bye to the next round. Monaco came through Group A as the winners. They had a 12 and two record during the regular season. So they will be a formidable opponent. The next phase of the competition, the round of 16. So stay with us. See all of the games, the Basketball Champions League. And, uh, again, for me, Liam Ken, it's my privilege to be with you tonight. Ike are going to improve their record to 10 and 5 in this competition. So they got the double digit wins, 10 wins in this inaugural season of this wonderful competition. Newly on a little curl cut, scoop and score opportunity, no good. And McGraw. It's the pass from Ilonu. McGraw just wants a two-man game here. Invites the high ball screen, runs into a trap. Ilonu on the baseline, called for a travel. Well, the Athenian fans now really in fabulous form, delighted that their team that goes by many nicknames, the Ike Club, the Yellow Blacks, the Queen, The two-headed eagle, the union. Well, they'll go ahead and win this one. And they'll win comfortably in the end by a 21-point margin. They led by 10 at halftime. And then really took commanding lead of this game in the third quarter. And just finished it off in the fourth quarter. Stay with us as we wrap this one up. Aaron Bass just. Congratulating his uh, opposite numbers. There's your final score at the end of this one. Ike win at home 75 54 against Uftenis Utena. And now the final statistics in this one. Look at the three point shooting for Utena, just 12% from behind the arc. 22 assists for Ike. A total team effort from this storied Greek club. And they can add a new chapter to their history as they've advanced to the round of 16 in the inaugural season of the Basketball Champions League. Here are the leaders in the respective categories. Milono, 14 points and six rebounds. Galdakis, 11 points. A couple of thunder dunks for the Lithuanian. And Jamar Diggs with those four turnovers. Diggs been kept in check in this one, just 10 points in what was a losing effort. Galdakis, the leading scorer for Utena with 11 points. Milono and Dixon, joint top scorers for Ike in the win. Well, for me, Liam Kenny, it's been my privilege to be with you tonight. It's Akali Nikta from Athens. Join us for continuing coverage tomorrow for the Basketball Champions League.